When I was younger, you'd hear about the girl who walked into the woods one night and never walked out. The old folks in town say there's something in there. The Watcher. It's such a cliche to say passion project, but Watcher in the Woods is one of these movies. I watched this as a child. I was obsessed with this movie. And my mother, being my producing partner at Heartbreak Films, she's the one who developed Sabrina and pretty much all the projects I've done in the last 20 years, almost all. Um, and so, you know, she asked me back when we were doing Sabrina, what do you want to do on your hiatus? What's a movie you'd like to remake or something you'd like to be a part of? So I um, I had said Watcher at one point. And so she dug up, she was searching for the rights, but it was, it was hard to find because it's still like on paper somewhere, right? So she um, finally, after 17 years, was able to get someone to go out into a warehouse somewhere and dig up the rights and we were able to make the movie. So we did a reimagining of it. So it was an original, it was 1980s with uh, Betty Davis, and Kyle Richards was in it too, and um, and now here we are. We just got to film last summer in Wales, and we put Angelica Houston in the role that Betty Davis played, and I got the chance to direct it. What sort of person are you? It's funny because people either say they remember the movie and it terrified them as a child, or it was their first slumber party horror film, or they know nothing about it. So either you loved it or you never saw it. Just watching other films, trying to figure out how do you do scary. I've never really directed scary before. I've directed a lot of special effects, talking cats and whatnot. <laughs> but um, now here I was having to direct um, a horror film. So how do you do that? You know, is it just lighting and sound? What makes it scary? Um, and so it was interesting because I watched a lot of Hitchcock. And then the other movies that I found that are probably the most relatable are The Others and The Orphanage. Those were two that really stood out to me. Um, you know, and then I watched little bits of other movies um, just to find, I would like fast forward through movies and wait for something scary to happen and then, okay, rewind it 20 times in slow motion and see how did this, how, why was this scary? 